My next guest is an actor you know from Knocked Up, Funny People, and This Is 40. She now stars in HBO's Euphoria. Please welcome Maud Apatow. <laughs> Again. Thank you for having me. Oh, oh my it's God. Our, it's, our pl- it's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. I've had your parents on many times. Leslie Mann and yes. Jenna Patel. Yes. And um, they uh, talk about you. They do. Does that bother you at all? Um, yeah. Sometimes. I mean, they really, they they really throw does. me under the bus. They think it's okay. A lot. We have, we have a clip here of the number of times your parents have talked about you on the show. Oh. And uh, Jim, can we roll this, please? Your daughter, Maud, was yes. going off to Northwestern University. Well, she's back. So she came back. She she's dropped back out. Home. Okay. Is that bad? My kids do not like anything. They're not interested. She's not like a slob. She's fine. No one said she was a slob. But... <laughs> this is how spoiled my kids are. They met Taylor Swift three times. Is your daughter really going to be okay with you talking about this? Um, she told me not to, but... <laughs> Did your parents get in trouble from you? Um, yeah, I was not happy with my mom for saying that, really, but I'm not gonna say anything about them because I'm not petty like that. <laughs> <laughs> you could emancipate yourself. You could emancipate yourself. Um, now, are, are, is, is your family excited? Is this your first time on a late night show? This is my first time, yeah. I'm so nervous right now. I can't even, like. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's all gonna be fine. It's all yeah, gonna be I fine. know. Is it gonna be fine though? Do you think, you're, do you think, you're, do you think your folks are watching tonight? Um, I don't think they're watching, but they they called me beforehand and they told me everything was gonna be fine and yeah. I kind of believe them, but I'm still yeah. hoping everything's gonna yeah. be fine. Is anyone in your family an Idris Elba fan? Because they might be watching for Idris because oh. he's on tonight. <laughs> My grandma is the biggest Idris Elba fan of all time. Oh, like, really? I told her I was on the show with him, and she was so excited. She's never been more proud. So, <laughs> I think. <laughs> has she seen your work? Has she, has she like, has she seen I Euphoria? Said she's not allowed to watch Euphoria. So this is this is. And is that good because there are so many penises on Euphoria? <laughs> because that show has been known for kind of balancing out the showing of uh, full male nudity. Uh, uh, you know, to kind of balance out all the many years of full female nudity, I right. suppose, on HBO and other places. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I feel comfortable with her watching it, but uh, maybe that's just because she's my I'm grandma. I'm not comfortable with your grandmother watching yeah, yeah. it. I know that much. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, uh, uh, the executive producer, it's Drake is the executive producer he of Euphoria, right? Yes. Well, that's kind of exciting. It, it's have you, crazy. Have you, I love Drake. Have you spent some time with him? Um, yeah, so... I wasn't on set when Drake visited first, but when he came back, I was there, and we were shooting the Halloween episode where I was dressed as Bob Ross. I think they sent me a picture. I was wondering what this was about, and that is... (laughs) That is literally the day that he visited. Yeah, he basically didn't tell anyone, <laughs> anyone he was coming. So we were just shooting that scene, like literally that exact moment when I opened the door and it was revealed that I was dressed like Bob Ross. And uh, yeah, he just sort of snuck up on us and uh, I was really caught off guard. <laughs> and he kind of like saw everyone and he hugged everyone and then he saw me and he shook my hand. <laughs> Yes, and I, was, I didn't know what to do, so I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. and well, I, it's alarming. It's an alarming image, no, I gotta say. No, he sort of, like, looked at me, yeah. and I think yeah. he wasn't sure what was happening, and sort of, yes. But then I saw him a few weeks later at an event, and he went, Bob Ross, and I was like, oh, yeah, good thing. <laughs> he knew that, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Well, speaking of Idris Elba, I know that I know uh, you're a big fan of musical theater. I am, yes. And, and did you did you listen to Idris Elba's explanation of what Cats is about? I I was watching and I was like, I don't know how he's even doing that. It's so complicated. I don't know how anyone. I thought he did a good job, it. but I, I've never seen it. Have you seen Cats? I have. I was in Cats when I was when I was nine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I know. I know, because your parents sent us a home movie of you. <laughs> Jim, 